I think one of the most difficult things to do as a facilitator is to not interject your own opinion or experience or expertise because it really is um, the group that that is is responsible. We're bringing together a group of people. We're bringing together all of those different opinions, different expertise, different experiences. And a facilitator is there to be that neutral third party. And as such, they can bring out the people that are sitting in the back and are a little bit quiet and aren't contributing enough because we want to make sure every voice is heard. So that's one of the things that the facilitator is going to do is to make sure that they get everybody involved. The other thing a facilitator is going to be able to do is help everybody stay on task, not going down into, uh, you know, the, the rabbit hole, not uh, getting distracted by every um, extra what if kind of question. And, and I think that that's the other thing too, is just adding that, that focus and, and helping people stay on task so that they're working towards the goal of, of whatever brought them together. And then the facilitator is also there to negotiate, right? To, to help, you know, I hear, I heard this and I heard this. How are we gonna bring those two concepts together? So they're there to kind of help summarize and align and, and bring that agreement uh, for, the, for the group together. And it's a very special skill set. And you know, facilitator uh, has a has a high responsibility. I think one of the most difficult things to do as a facilitator is to not interject your own opinion or experience or expertise because it really is um, the group that that is is responsible for coming up with the answers, and they're and they're capable. And so the facilitator just kind of has to step back as a, almost a coach to make sure that the solution that comes out of the workshop is one that belongs to the participants and doesn't belong to the facilitator themselves. Mm -hmm.